I'm making a difference. I am making a difference. J'agis pour un monde meilleur. I am making a difference. 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 My name is Christine Penner. I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I am the Assistant Superintendent in the Interlake School Division. I am making a difference by working towards Millennium Development Goal number six, combating HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases in Uganda. Granny's Gone Global is a group of grandmothers in Winnipeg's North End, and these are all grandmothers who are raising their grandchildren. Um, I started this group when I was Vice Principal at St. John's High School. Granny's Gone Global is all about providing physical emo and emotional support for grandmothers raising their grandchildren. So by meeting once a month, um, it's just a wonderful opportunity for them to network with one another and to realize that they're not alone in being caregivers of their grandchildren. There are more people out there with them. And one year, the grandmother said, you know, we really would like to fundraise for our African sisters. And so, you know, for me, it was really heartwarming because over 50% of the grandmothers in our grandma group live below the poverty line. So now you have grandmothers who are looking out uh, for the needs of grandmothers who are also raising their grandchildren um, who are less well off than they are. And so that started a round of fundraising activities. And so uh, the very first thing we did was we had, uh, we decided to have a granny social. So in 2010, we had our first granny social. We held it at the convention center. And so that night we made, um, we made almost $8,000, including donations. And so we wired that money over to Uganda. And I went to Uganda the summer of 2011. And so I met with a grandmother group there and help them develop sustainable livelihoods. So this summer I went back to Uganda because I got some money from Manitoba Council for International Cooperation. Last summer when I went, uh, the grandmothers um, decided on what they would do with their money in order to develop a sustainable livelihood so that they could afford to buy breakfast for their grandchildren and uh, to start paying school tuition fees. And in some of the villages that I visited, it was shocking. There were so many children like running around. I'm like, wow, these kids should all be in school. What is this, right? And so being able to provide an education for these kids is just such, is the way out of poverty. So trying to help these grandmothers um, use the money in a sustainable way so it's not a handout, so they actually do something with it so they can get a monthly income. And when I went back this summer, I was so encouraged by what I saw. Uh, some of the grandmothers had decided, most of the grandmothers actually, decided to do uh, chicken farming, pig farming. One grandmother bought a sewing machine, so she does some sewing. One grandma is doing some knitting and knitting sweaters uh, for students that go to school. Uh, one grandma is selling matoki in the market. Uh, making, one grandma is making chapatis. One is trying to, to plant sweet potatoes. And so they're doing just a variety of, of projects. And so for me, that was really exciting to see. And some of the grandmas, um, they were able to build chicken coops. And I would, one would, you know, I would walk in and I would see all these chickens. And it was so exciting, really exciting. And you know, what really warmed my heart was these grandmothers, they have nothing, but they also like to give from, from, from what they have. And so I actually um, received four chickens as gifts when I was there. So that was, that was quite interesting to see, to see how they were trying to repay the, their appreciation uh, for the grandmothers here in Winnipeg were doing for them. In Uganda, as in many African countries, there is an entire generation that has been wiped out due to HIV AIDS. So the people that we work with, the grandmothers that I work with, some of them have HIV AIDS and are really struggling physically and financially, emotionally. Um, uh, but many of them um, are left to care for their grandchildren because the parents have been wiped out because of HIV AIDS. So really, really shocking when you go over and you see that uh, with this whole generation gone, you have grandmothers raising children or you have children raising children. And I saw kids as young as eight years old raising younger siblings. It was really, really sad. And so certainly um, it has affected the people that we work with there in a big way. And so we're trying to step in and trying to help them you know, emotionally and physically uh, to support their grandchildren and themselves. My name is Christine Penner and I am making a difference.